Hey, welcome to this devlog for Rocket Explorer v0.11. Let's go. Hi, my name is Casper. I'm Stanley Creative and I am building this Rocket Explorer application. And it's not for mobile, even though I call it an app, but it's just because it's not a game. And we are now on the update 0.11. We are inching closer to a Steam release, but it's coming in the future and I'll talk about it later in this video. So right now I'm going to jump into what I did for this update. First of all, there's a new rocket. It's the Proton M rocket and it's pretty neat. I started it a bit ago, but then I didn't finish it uh, for other reasons. But I think it's a really neat rocket. It's one of my favorite rockets just because the whole bottom of it, the whole first stage, even though it has those side uh, tanks, it's all one stage. And I think it's just really neat that the outer tanks there are part of the first stage. It, it reminds me of the Saturn 1 and now it's in the application, as I said. And next up you'll see that it's turning and that's the new feature, the turntable. That's just a really easy feature that I should have made uh, when I made the viewer, but it's in there now and it's, it's just really cool to turn the rotation on and just browse through the rockets and they'll turn around themselves. Next up, statistics. So now when you compare rockets, there are statistics shown in the menu, showing a little bit about the rocket more than just how it looks. I needed to figure out what I wanted to show there because there's limited space. And so I asked around and I think these are the ones that people want to see the most. I asked some people that don't know much about rockets and rocket nerds and tried to do a combination of some simple statistics that everyone wants. So what we have is price per kilogram, which is basically just how cheap is this rocket? How much can, how much bang for the buck? Then there's lift off thrust, when it lifts off with boosters and everything, how much thrust is that? Basically just horsepower, I guess. Then there's mass to LEO or low earth orbit, which is, how good is this rocket? How much can it lift into orbit of Earth? I know some rockets mainly go to other places than low Earth orbit, say sun synchronous orbit or geostationary orbit or something like that. But to have a common statistic to just view them all by, I chose low Earth orbit because they all basically have to go there. Then there's reuse. Not a lot of rockets are reusable yet, but some are. So I thought it would just be a neat statistic to show is it reusable, fully, partially, or not at all? And that's basically what there is to, to see here. Partial meaning just some part of the rocket, say for the Falcon 9, the first stage lands, but the second stage doesn't get recovered or anything. So it's only partially reusable. But for the Starship, for example, that's fully reusable. That's why it's shown like that. Then there's reliability. And I could have shown that in percentage, but I don't, I show it in numbers and I show it like that because I want as much info in as little space as possible and by showing it like this I can show how many launches it has attempted and how many it's had successfully and by that you can also calculate the percentage if you do want it in, in that. I think that's the most bang for the buck statistics. <laughs> so that's the statistics and that was a lot of work because there's a lot of rockets by now but I did get some help and I want to thank Adria Joa and Lucky Lucas from my discord server who helped me a lot with that, so shout out to you guys. And by that I can also announce that I have a Discord, so check out the link in the description if you want to join that. But shh, it's secret. And then there's one last thing for this update that I want to talk about, and then we can jump into future stuff. And that new thing is the countdown. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Three, two, one. Whoa. I thought that was a pretty good thing to add because it gives you a little bit more time to sort of react once you click the launch button. It's more realistic and it gives me time in the future to add some ice fading in and, and some other cool stuff before launch. I could always make the time bigger or make some sort of adjustment so you can choose yourself how long you want the countdown to be and it can adjust accordingly. That's for the future. Right now it just counts down from 10 and launches like it did in the past. But I thought it was uh, a neat addition and if you listen closely, you can hear that it's me counting down. It sounds horrible. I should probably choose some <laughs> actual audio from someone counting down, but I, I just needed something quick that I knew I had the rights to. 
So there is other stuff that I did in this update, but it's all minor stuff, fixes and other things. And if you want to read about that, you can read it on the rocketexplorer.space website. There's a release log tab and you can see the newest stuff there. So let's talk about the future. Right here, I want to go to orbit. And right now it just keeps going in the atmosphere forever. And I don't like that. I need to work on sort of fading into space here and the rocket needs to stop moving and so seamlessly go into space and that's a difficult problem which is why i haven't done it before so one of the problems with unity which is the engine i'm building this in is that when once you get far away from the center point of the world everything starts shaking sort of and that's really weird also going extremely high speeds which rockets tend to do uh, is also a problem so I need to do some stuff there and that'll be in the next update however long that may take. I also want the next update to be the Steam release. That might be two updates out so I can sort of test the orbit thing first and clean everything up. I also want the UI to be better and, and just generally have a better experience once I go on Steam. I think, I think we're getting there. And yeah, it's really exciting. If there's anything you want to see for the Steam release, uh, let me know down in the comments. There are still so many cool things that you can do with this and I could add and all sort of stuff. I've thought about for the future having a sort of engine viewer and a capsule viewer so you can sort of view those individually and not on a rocket. They have been suggested to me and I have thought about it myself and that would be really cool. Also, being inside the rocket, inside a capsule for launch would also be an obvious one. But if there's anything else, let me know if you have ideas. And you can also join the Discord where there's also an ideas channel where you can submit ideas and give feedback and stuff. And yeah, I guess that rounds this out. So if you want to support what I do, not just Rocket Explorer, but all my animations and renders, you can do so on Patreon. And if you do choose to support me on the $5 tier or more, you will get early access to, to Rocket Explorer here like everyone else who have helped me so far. And if you just want to see what Rocket Explorer is like, there's a free online demo with a link down in the description. And you can just try it out, browse some rockets, see the comparisons. And if you can't support me financially, that's totally fine. I love that you're just viewing this. So thank you so much. Consider subscribing. It is free, like everyone keeps saying on YouTube, hit the bell. And lastly, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons. And a special thank you to my producer level patrons Tim Dot, Nils NB, Felix Schlang, Andrew Law, Anus Patel, Marcus House, TJ Cooney, Adrian Kujanas, and Tom Gerard. I had to look at it. <laughs> thank you guys so much. And yeah, thank you all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.